everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you how to make flashcards different types of flashcards to make and how to make them aesthetic so the benefits to using flashcards are that they're a really effective way to study and retain knowledge and they're very customizable so you can make them unique to you and so the materials I'm going to be using throughout this video are flashcards. I'm using the standard 5x3 ones. And you're also going to be wanting a black pen to write down all your information. And also you're going to be wanting even more pens to really spice up your flashcards. And finally, you're going to be wanting some aesthetic supplies. And I am using washi tape because it's very inexpensive. So the first type of flashcards I'm going to show you guys are what I like to call the question and answers. So essentially what these are is that you write down a vocab term on one side and then on the other side you would write the definition. And this can be used for a variety of subjects including foreign languages where you would write the term in English on one side and then the translation on the other. So in order to make these flashcards, I started by cutting my flashcards in quarters because I wanted to save time decorating, but also resources. So here I'm showing you a variety of ways to um, decorate your flashcards and make them aesthetic. And these are super easy to do and they don't take very much time to do at all. So I would highly recommend using some of these ideas or maybe even coming up with ideas of your own. I really like these flashcards because they're a really great way to help memorize your vocab terms, but also you're less likely to look at the answers while studying. So the next type of flashcards are called Q&A part 2. So you're going to start off by writing a header which is going to be your main topic and below that you're going to be writing down important vocab terms with its definition which should correspond to that main topic and this is very similar to the previous one except you're writing down all your vocab terms in one flashcard which is a really great way to organize all your terms and keep them in one place. The next type of flashcards are the traditional style. So this is a system where you take really short and concise notes about a topic. And here I'm writing about the periodic table. And as you can see, it's not very long at all. And the sole purpose is for you to focus on the most important content rather than focusing on some of the small details that you probably don't need to know. Number four are review sheets. So I'm starting off with washi tape to decorate these flashcards because um, I just think review sheets are really important and just using this washi tape just makes it feel important to me. I don't know, that's just me. So basically these are just review sheets for your upcoming quizzes and tests and it's just a really good way to condense all your information and just really focus on the essentials and know what you should be studying. I'm also drawing a diagram because I'm a very visual learner and I think it also helps with the aesthetic. So the last type of flashcards are mind maps and these are just a really good way to organize all your thoughts in one place and it's just very easy, very simple, very quick, 
I love doing these whenever I'm like stressed and I have all these like ideas in my head. I just make a quick mind map. And at this point, I started getting a little too much into it and I started decorating it even more. But by no means do you have to do this and especially if you don't have the time. And finally what I think is the final touch to all flashcards are the title cards. So here I'm going to be showing you a variety of ways to make these title cards. But I think it's really important to make tunnel cards because it's a good way to organize all your flashcards. And also, it's a really good study break. Just like making these flashcards, they're just very fun to do. But they are by no means required or absolutely essential. But in my mind, they are. So I make them. And here I'm just doing some calligraphy adding some dots um, just very basic very simple you can these don't take very much time at all and here I went a little overboard so I took this purple flash card and I glued it onto the white flash card and then I added some washi tape to decorate it and to hide those rough edges and the glue was kind of frustrating it didn't really stick on but that's besides the point and then I used tall and skinny letters to write the title. And then I also added this border decoration. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful and please comment, like, and subscribe. Bye.